Okay, so you've seen for Sally, when she moved towards the source, the velocity of the waves seemed to increase, the frequency seemed to increase, but their wavelength remained the same. Okay, we're going to look at a slightly different, but the same situation now. Now we've got a cyclist who's an observer, and she is cycling towards a fire engine, which is stopped at the lights. The fire engine has its siren blaring and it's producing a sound signal which is traveling through the air with a velocity v here. Now as the observer O, so this subscript O here stands for observer, moves towards the source, this is the source, the frequency and wavelength produced by the source do not change. However, the frequency F dash measured by the observer, this girl on the bike, does change. And we can see that the velocity that she measures the sound waves traveling towards her with will be given by the velocity of sound plus the, her velocity, which is V subscript O, the velocity of the observer. So this is the same as for Sally, who saw the waves go faster as she was traveling towards them. So this equation here describes the velocity of the waves from the source as measured by this observer on the bike. And we can use this to calculate the frequency. Okay, so what we're going to do now is calculate the frequency measured by our observer on the bike. It's given by F dash. And we know that the frequency is just the velocity divided by the wavelength. So in this case, it's V dash, the velocity that she observes, divided by the wavelength, which does not change. And so the velocity that she observed is given by V plus V subscript O, and that's divided by lambda. Okay, so we can rearrange this slightly because lambda is equal to V divided by F. And so when we divide by lambda, we can divide by V on F. And so the F ends up up the top because of our rules for when we divide the denominator. And so this is an equation for the frequency observed by the observer. Now, if the observer is moving away from the source, so in this case, it takes longer for the waves to catch up to her, then the observed velocity through, of the waves through the medium is given by V minus the velocity of the observer. And so in this case, we end up with the frequency measured by that observer is given by V minus the velocity of the observer over V times F. Remember V here is the velocity of the waves through the medium. Now we're going to consider what happens as a source moves towards an observer. So now we've got a stationary observer and a moving source. I want you to think as the source approaches the observer, how does the observer observe the frequency, the wavelength and the velocity of the sound coming from the source?